guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm doing a little chatty get ready with me I've just got a few things I really wanted to like chat with you guys about and I thought I'd just do it while I put my makeup on I can't promise though that I'll talk about all the products I'm using properly <laughs> so I will try and put everything on the screen and link it below if you're actually interested in the products that I'm putting on this is like the first time I've worn makeup in about a week I have actually been quite unwell so I got sick, yeah, about five or six days ago. Um, and it was your typical kind of cold flu symptoms. So at this stage, I don't know whether it, it is just a standard like cold or flu or whether it was coronavirus. <laughs> I actually don't qualify for testing because I haven't been overseas in the last 14 days or like three weeks. And I also have no idea whether I've come into contact with a confirmed case. Those are the two things that you have to be in Australia to get tested. I haven't gone out my front door in like a week. Thankfully we have a balcony here so I can still get a little bit of sunshine but definitely was a respiratory illness. I felt like a lot of heaviness in my chest and stuff um, which is what made me quite worried. I've rung up the health line a few times just to get like clarification. But anyway, um, I am starting to feel better so I thought today I would film and kind of chat to you guys about what's gonna happen for me and my channel over the next few weeks, um, months even, because we don't know how long this will last. I just put on the Hello Fab Coconut Skin Smoothie priming moisturizer by the way. I'm not gonna bother with like my hourglass primer. I'm trying to conserve it because I don't have very much left and I don't have to wear this makeup for very long. Plus I'm like hardly wearing makeup much because I'm home so much. But don't worry about me guys, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm on the mend. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to kind of chat to you guys about like what's gonna happen because obviously the world has really, really changed, especially even compared to like my last video which I filmed about a week ago, just before I got sick. The world has changed so much since then too. The state that I live in in Australia, Victoria, is basically on like a proper lockdown um, where only essential businesses are running. The rest of Australia I don't think is quite the same but it's like kind of similar. I fear that Australia and New Zealand are not going to do too well with this virus. We might have missed the boat on trying to contain it so it's a bit scary. So even when I'm fully recovered from this illness I'll still be staying at home as well because I'm just trying to, you know, do my part and socially isolate. Oh, my sponge feels a wee bit wet eh? I hate when your sponge is too wet. So I haven't posted or talked to you guys a lot about how this sort of situation is affecting me and Alex. I sort of talked a little bit on like some of my socials but basically like um, me and Alex have had all of our music work cancelled for the foreseeable future so literally no gigs and so the only income we have now is my YouTube channel and my social media work which um, only accounts for a portion of my income so I'd say that we've lost probably about 70% of our income. We do have some savings so we aren't in a sticky spot necessarily just now but we only really have enough to live off for a few months so we're just trying to find alternative ways mainly for Alex to earn a, a bit of income. As a freelancing musician right now, it's very scary and I do recognize that I'm in a bit more of a privileged position compared to some of my friends because I have this platform. So I just wanna say a huge thank you to you guys for supporting my channel, for watching my videos, for using the links in the description, which are affiliate links and they help me earn a bit more money, like things like that. I think we'd be in quite a different situation right now if I didn't have these platforms. The other thing that makes this situation a bit hard for us at the moment is that we're Kiwi citizens living in Australia. So we're not Australian citizens, we're not permanent residents. Um, a Kiwi can't become a permanent resident. Therefore, we're not entitled to any support from the Australian government and we're also not entitled to any support from the New Zealand government because we don't live there. So we get no government support whatsoever. So that again, just makes it a little bit harder. But me and Alex are really trying to look at the situation as positively as we can. We're thankful we've got some savings. We're thankful we still have this income stream. <laughs> um, and we're just trying to put on our entrepreneurial hats and just think a little bit outside the box as to how especially Alex, can earn a bit of money over the next wee while until things start to settle down. But I suspect the arts organisations will be like some of the last sort of businesses to get back up and running because they are generally quite large audience events. So it's very unknown, scary times. Um, I think I'm coping with it quite well, to be honest, but it's very uncertain. Um, yeah, for that reason, um, I do want to try and increase my video output so I'm hoping to try and start doing three videos a week instead of two especially because I have a little bit more time it's also going to be great for you guys because you'll get a little bit more content to watch if you are stuck at home as well and just like really bored <laughs> so I'm hoping 
that you guys will like seeing a bit more content. Um, I could definitely still guarantee my two. I'm going to try and do that third video. Um, but as I say, me and Alex are trying to spend a bit of time thinking of ways that he can earn money too. So we are working on a bit of a music project at the moment, which is something we can do online. So stay tuned. Can't give any details yet on it, but it's something we're trying to work on. So hopefully that can come to fruition in a few weeks. I also do have my blog as well, which I'm going to try and put a few extra posts up on. I have quite a few really nice recipes. I just posted today a soup recipe. It's just a veggie soup recipe. It could be something that you could probably make with what you've got at home already if you are in isolation. Definitely something to check out if you're interested. I always have that linked below. As I say, thank you so much for supporting me and my channel, um, especially through this time. It is going to be a rough ride. I'm, I'm definitely going on a bit of an unofficial no buy for a while in all regards makeup, clothes, just literally anything that's not essential. Me and Alex just have to kind of cut back just to be smart, make sure that we don't run out of money in a few months time. Yeah, I'm going to be shopping my stash a lot more, doing a lot more videos about like things I already own, which I think is quite cool. Like I know you guys enjoy seeing older products anyway. I will still get a little bit of PR. I have some PR that I still accept, uh, particularly from like Yes Style, which is um, an Asian beauty online store. Um, I'm really actually thankful for that relationship that I have with them because they stock a huge amount of brands. I get some of my favorite skincare from there and it means that I can still be trying, you know, some new things every so often and it's just going to make this time a little bit easier for me. So, I mean, if there's anything off Yes Style that you guys would like to see me try or review let me know as well because I can look into that. They actually just emailed me today as well saying they've added a new product category to their website which is kind of I guess like their sort of health sanitary section so you can actually buy hand sanitizers on there I saw that have at least 70% alcohol content which means it's like a good kind that will actually kill viruses. They have a few others that don't look very like proper so just make sure you check that there's a good amount of alcohol content on there but I know hand sanitizer is pretty hard to get your hands on <laughs> right now so check out your style if you want they also have like face masks and stuff as well but let's do some highlighter um, but yeah I'm really really thankful for those few sort of PR relationships I've held on to just because that will give me a little bit of extra content but as I say I'll mostly be shopping my stash um, everything today I've either shown on my channel before or yeah used so as I say, links will be below and I'll be popping the pictures up on the screen. Um, I just find it a little bit hard to jump back and forth between talking about the makeup and talking about this really quite serious situation. I asked on Instagram about a week ago as well for any ideas for content and you guys gave me so many cool ideas, so I really appreciate it. But if you've got any more or if you didn't see that, do leave them in the comments below because I am writing up a big master list of stuff that I can refer to if I'm getting a little bit dry on ideas. Um, so I really appreciate knowing what you guys want to see. I guess especially with a bit of a focus around using what I have and you know what kind of videos you might want to see around that. It can also be lifestyle. I'm probably going to include quite a few more lifestyle topics over the next wee while just to supplement my beauty stuff because a, I want to, and B, it's just going to make it a bit easier to get more content out. You'd think considering we're in lockdown it would be a lot less noisy on the street. It's still kind of not. Must be all going off to the grocery store, I guess. I'm also just trying to take this time as well to really think about like future, future projects. So when we can start performing again, I'm actually doing a ranging of some older piano trios, four horn trio. Um, so for my music ensemble, once we can get up and going again, we'll have some brand new music to learn and perform, which is gonna be really cool. It's something I've wanted to do actually for ages. So in a way, <laughs> having this, um, being forced to stay at home has actually like given me the opportunity I guess to get on with these arrangements so that's a silver lining I guess. But I've also experienced from you guys like a lot of you are in a similar situation or even in a worse situation than like what I'm in right now where you've lost your job or your hours have been cut severely and you're actually in an extremely vulnerable position right now and just want you to know that you're not alone and I really wanted to figure out a way that I could maybe like help you guys. I've just been so aware getting so many messages from you guys about how hard it is right now and I just really wanted to think of a way that I could kind of help you guys to you know like we can get through this if we kind of come together. My DMs on Instagram are open and if you wanted to chat uh, we can voice note each other and, and literally talk to each other or we can just chat via message. I really want you guys to know that like I'm here for you and I am going to dedicate a good chunk of my week and my time to kind of supporting you guys because you've supported me 
um, and by watching my content and interacting with it you're helping to keep me afloat so I feel like I really need to give back in some way um, and even if I'm not in a position really like to help monetarily right now I can at least lend my time and my support and just some advice and encouragement as well. So I really hope that if you are struggling, definitely pop over to Instagram or even Facebook. Um, Instagram is usually the easiest place and just send me a message and I can help support you through this really rough time. This is such a good spray, the L'Oreal Shake and Glow. Mm. Those of you that are working on the front line in the hospitals, I absolutely take my hat off to you. This is an extremely difficult time for you in a completely different sense. You're overloaded with work and you probably haven't had a day off in weeks and you probably won't get a day off in weeks. If you just need a little quick pick me up, a bit of encouragement, you can slide into my DMs as well. Alrighty, I'm actually going to use my Nabla Singles again since you guys wanted to see more looks with this. And I just recently put up a blog post as well with all of these swatched. So if you're interested, again, I have a link to my blog below. But I'm going to go in first just with this little beige colour. I think this is called like coconut something or other. Coconut milk. <laughs> And we'll just like lay down a bit of a base and then I'm going to go in with this color cap size which is a really nice like matte kind of mauvey shade. And something I've really noticed in myself over the last kind of week is how much my priorities are changing in life. Like of course I still love makeup, I love beauty but right now I cannot think even actually about like buying anything new. Like it's amazing how when situations like this that are very extreme it really pushes you to think about what matters most in life and that is making sure that me and my family stay healthy and connected and so like I would rather spend a lot of money right now on internet <laughs> than on like new makeup or things. Um, also having to cook and eat every meal at home it's kind of like making me and Alex realize actually how much we used to rely on like eating out but it was like just not really actually any more enjoyable like we enjoy cooking at home and that we just get lazy so I am trying to see a silver lining in this experience that's going to help us to be a bit more frugal I think it's really going to prepare us for like having to cook for our children and stuff all the time just experimenting with new recipes and stuff because that's what I think everyone's kind of doing right now um, so there is kind of a good that can come out of the experience. I know it can be really hard to try and find the silver linings, but for me, I know that if I don't try and focus on what I can get out of this experience, then I will spiral into a dark place. I kind of had a bit of a dip last week. Like it was like kind of Friday, sad day. I was in a really dark kind of anxious space. Um, and like I was at the height of my sickness as well so I was really run down and tired and so that kind of didn't help but also like just mentally it kind of just hit me the real weight of this the fact that this could last for months like initially we were kind of like oh we might have a couple of weeks off work and then we'll be like back into it but like especially as I say for the music industry this is going to be really catastrophic and very catastrophic for our kind of career I'm just as I say so thankful I have another aspect to my career and I'm just trying to find enough time in my week as well to still be working on my music stuff um, just preparing myself for that future for when things do start to normalize I'll be ready I'll be there with new repertoire and I'll still have all my technique there from my violin if I keep practicing every day so I'm just going to use this little color in the middle this is called chemical bond it's like a really pretty kind of taupey pewtery sort of shade but yeah I do I just think you've just got to kind of focus on the future it's kind of reminding me of like what it would probably be like in prison <laughs> okay very luxurious prison but the idea being that you're trapped and you're in a situation that you can't control and it's sort of like a sentence like we're going to be locked down for a while and if I was in prison I think the only way I could survive that situation would be to think about my rehabilitation and getting out and what I'm going to do in the outside world when I get out you know I th and I think like prisoners that think that way they're the ones that generally try and take up the offers of like courses that you can take in the prisons and they're often the ones that get out and tend to not come back in so if I can give you any advice even if you have as I say literally lost your entire income and and your world is absolutely falling apart um just try somehow <laughs> to think about what you could possibly do in the future like look forward to the future maybe see it as an opportunity to start retraining or something even if you have to move back in like with your parents or something and life feels extremely unglamorous for a while because that could be a good possibility for me and Alex. If this situation lasts long enough and we run out of money we very well might have to pack up and go back to New Zealand and move back in with parents. So that is 
something that's in our trajectory as well. Um, I think, as I say, we've got a few months of savings that can get us through, hopefully. And as long as some of our initiatives maybe come through, then we might be able to get through. But like, it's a very real thing for us that we might have to move back home. And so we're keeping that as like plan Z, <laughs> plan Z, however you pronounce it, Z or Z. And having that there, knowing that's like our worst case scenario actually feels quite good because it isn't that bad. It will give us lots of opportunity to spend time with our family and we can regroup and think about where next. And it's just like, this is something that's completely out of our control. The only thing you can control right now is your reaction to it. And I guess your mindset towards it. So if you kind of try your absolute hardest to see it as an opportunity to change your life direction, I think it's the only way that you can stay sane, or at least that works for me. I also know that a couple of you are probably going to be sitting at home and just rolling your eyes at that kind of advice right now because you're not in the space quite yet to think like that. And that's okay. I also think it's extremely important. Um, oh, by the way, I will let you know what shadow I'm using. Oh gosh, I don't want to try and pronounce that. I presume this is an Italian word, so that's what it is. I think it's extremely important to have some self-compassion as well. This is an extremely hard time for yourself and for others. And yes, some other people out there might have it worse than you. Um, they may have already run out of money and literally be on the street. Like, you know, um, that's a very real possibility for so many people. I think especially in America right now, because... I don't know what kind of support packages the government there is providing, but a lot of people don't have medical. You know, there might be someone out there that's in a bit of a worse situation than you, but that doesn't take away how hard this is for you. You know, you could be one of those people that actually still has a job and is working from home, but is finding it so hard because you're trying to manage a job and look after your kids who are no longer in school and they're running around like crazy, driving you mad. It's okay to also struggle with that. It's okay to grieve the loss of the life you had before. And I think that is something that we have to, we have to allow ourselves to feel that. And that's, I think, what I was in like last week. It's why like that vlog, that's that an evening routine video I filmed was like the last thing I filmed. Was that Wednesday that I filmed that? I think it was Wednesday. Um, and then I just kind of needed a bit of a week to just not film and just grieve <laughs> and just be anxious and sit in it a little bit and acknowledge it. And then it was sort of like Sunday going into Monday. I was very like, okay, I need to start now thinking about the future. Like, this is crap. I've sat in it. I've felt it. I've acknowledged it. And now it's like, what can I do with that? Because if I just sit in it any longer, it's just going to destroy me. Um, especially because my anxiety can really fuel my depression. So if I sit in my anxiety for too long, then I do tend to get depressed over time. Like there's gonna be a mental health pandemic following this literal virus pandemic because everyone is going to have struggled with the isolation, but um, I'm just gonna try and do my part to keep you guys as uplifted as possible. Um, I've got some fun videos planned. I do plan to do my plant tour video finally. <laughs> I know many of you have been asking for that. Just gonna line my eyes with my Annabelle liners. Also, we have had a winner, and several people have guessed the correct makeup from my Guess My Makeup Get Ready With Me, which was two videos ago. So I have now put all the products in the description. So if you were curious about what the actual answers were, or was actually just curious about what I was using in that video, then you can go check it out, and they've got all the products listed in the description now. Just gonna put on some of my Marcel mascara. This is a new bottle of the Marcel mascara. My friend brought it back from Canada. But it's the one with the red on the label. It seems extremely similar. I think it just doesn't have the like lash growth stuff in it. Yeah, my lovely friend Rachel from Rachel Lea. She's been in Canada for the last few months and just came back just before all of this like coronavirus stuff kind of blew up. And for lipstick, I'm gonna use this. It's actually the L'Oreal Color Rich Shine lipstick in the shade Topless. It's not something I've used in a while. It's quite a nice little nude. So that's the final look there. So I hope you enjoyed the little get ready with me. But also thank you so much for tuning in and hearing, I guess, the updates and things that I wanted to say about this whole situation at the moment. As I say, if you are really struggling, I would love to be there for you to support you and help you through this tough time. So don't hesitate to reach out. Even if all I can offer is a kind word, staying connected with people is very important. Make sure you're calling or reaching out to any family or friends that you have right now because it is so important that we are physically distancing ourselves from others. But we want to stay socially connected online. Isn't social media an amazing thing? Like, yes, it has some really bad downsides, but in a time like this, in a time of crisis, it can just absolutely do wonders at trying to keep 
us connected. However, on that note, if you're finding social media draining, particularly things like Twitter, a lot of the very negative news around the pandemic is all on Twitter, I've noticed. So that's an app that I'm definitely trying to avoid clicking into as much, especially if I'm feeling anxious. Um, so just monitor how you feel when you're using it too. Even if maybe you, you know, watching me Instagram my food that I'm making, if that's annoying you and making you feel more crap about yourself, then don't watch it. Just click out. And just be very conscious and mindful, I guess, of how your consumption of content at the moment is making you feel. I've definitely noticed that if I'm consuming a bit too much content and not creating enough, I tend to get a little bit like more pessimistic and less um i'm less able to look forward to the future and, and keep that you know energy up so i think trying to find a good balance between content consumption and content creation is really important and for those that aren't online content creators obviously just creation for your own sake is really important so just baking cookies or drawing or making music or anything that you find creative I think it's so important you find time in your day and your week to do that. If you'd like me to do more content around like working from home and things like that, since that is typically actually how I generally work anyway, let me know because I'd be more than happy to make a video around that topic. But I think that's going to wrap up today's video. It's going to be a long one. I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye. Thank you.